<laughs> Hello. Save Limcrest Wind Mountain. Zan has actually changed the nature of the water itself. Any normal water poured into the river will still set on fire. Or will set on fire. I might be able to reverse the process. There is a spring of purest elemental water in the mountains. To get to the spring, you will have to clear the mountain pass. It is usually guarded by wind elementals. But there is a wind cyclops guarding the mountain pass now. Any traveler who gets too close will get blown off the mountaintop. If I enchant the bottle before you clear the pass, the magic will wear off before you can get the water sample. And the water will lose its purity. A way must be cleared before you can get the sample. If you can defeat the cyclops and clear the pass, return to me and I will enha enchant the container for the spring water. Alright. And they're nice enough to just leave a... I can switch to my uh, fire dagger now. Here I am talking about not coming across energy weapons that often, and I have another one just chilling here. And they look the same. Funny, huh? So our 65 group of three flans have been replaced with 65 HP groups of three bees. Ouch. Ouch. It's definitely a sign that spring is around the corner when I have bees just appearing like in my house all of a the sudden. They usually keep quiet for winter and then, you know, voila, there they are. It's not, they've all, they always, right now they seem dazed though, like they're not. They're not super active as far as the flying and stuff. Thankfully it's only like a couple of them. I'd be a little more tripped out if it were like several bees. Constantly just walking from room to room. Fifty-three. Seventy-seven. Not one to... Mm -hmm. Uh. Eighty six Valencia just keeps the hard hits coming. Mm. Fifty seven. <laughs> Eighty-one. Valencia, you're an animal. Seventy-seven. This is out of control. You know what should be a thing that happens with all critical hits, though? I think Final Fantasy X had like the best way of noting a critical hit with that awesome sound that one of them makes. Like between that and the sweet critical counter thing you could do and Onimusha, those are like the two noises that just music to my ears as far as like noises like that go. The sound doesn't change when you hit someone like with a critical hit on this game. I wish that were diff I wish that was different. I would love to just get that shink sound. Well, as far as sound changing for attacks and stuff, it does change with each kind of element that you're using to attack or take damage from, so that is a cool touch. It used to be different. Like, it used to be like universally just that sound unless it was a specific like 
some of Eridix's moves, Eridix's moves would do, make like a magical noise, etc. Grr, you cannot beat Huffpuff. Huffpuff will blow you off the mountain in five breaths. We're just gonna battle him, because, yeah. I mean, the defender, Huffpuff, okay. We're just gonna go right at Huffpuff here. I'm not too... I think the... Yeah. The wind defenders are... They regen or something. See, I thought maybe if I got rid of him, then the giant would bring him back. I'm not too worried about that. Did I... Oh yeah, I did forget to... Not that that really matters, because he's already almost dead. So much for five breaths, huh? Alright, which one of you are closer to dead? It would be you. So, thankfully, they don't heal their entire life bar. Otherwise, this would be a bit of a chore. <laughs> I was honestly worried for a second. Thank you. Mmm. 104. Mmm. Valencia, you're an animal. Wow, I didn't realize how much damage my guy was taking there. Objective completed. Um, everyone knows it's windy. Wow, you really took the wind out of Huff Puff's sails and lungs. <laughs> well done, hero. Nugget. Now that the mountain is clear, return to Warlick and get directions to the spring. Elemental essence. Uh, we'll pass on that. If I ever need those, I'll just grind them off screen. Why do you do this game? Thank you. I also like how every time I've been waiting for Warlick to, uh, although talking to him makes this happen faster. Yes, heal. Thank you. Other quests. Save Nimcrest. The Pure Pool. I will make the. Wait. Okay. Oh yeah, elemental essences are how you unlock these quests in the first place. The enchanted bottle is ready for you to get a sample from the purest part of the pure pool, the waterfall that feeds the pool. But I learned something in Limcrest that you may find interesting. Many years ago, before the village even had a name, a baby boy named Zan was born under unusual circumstances. As he grew, it became apparent that he possessed some, he possessed some natural skill in magic. Miners were made nervous by his skill with magic, which is common with the magically gifted. We are often misunderstood. In this small mining village, there were no other children to play with young Zan. Oh, play with, and young Zan was hungry for attention. So Zan tried to get attention the only way he knew how, by causing bad things to happen and hurting innocent people. Regular old skull kid, isn't he? Zan, of course, was too clever to get caught, but everyone suspected that the strange fires in the village were his doing. As Zan grew up to be a young man, he became proud of the villagers' fear, which he mistook for respect. Eventually, tragedy struck and Zan's parents were killed by another mysterious fire, the day that Zan left for the Magic Academy in Swordhaven. The fire stopped that day in Limcrest. I'm not sure if Zan just couldn't control his power or if he was always dangerously insane. But it appears that Zan has returned to punish the miners of Limcrest, who he always felt treated him with less respect than he deserved. 
We have to stop Zan and change this river back before Limcrest, Limcrest is punished further. We have no time to waste. Now that the pass is clear, head to the pure pool and take a sample of the pure elemental water for me while I prepare the counterspell. Are these things going to resist fire? Oh no, they're weak to it. It's sweet. 56. If I could have got like a couple higher on all of those, that would have been just one move done. Puddle. Monsoon Elemental. I respect that instead of just calling them Fire and Water Elementals, they come up with something a little more snazzy for these golem-looking things, like Inferno and Monsoon. It's kind of a cool touch. At least I think so. Nice. I should kill all of these with one hit. Yeah. Get them. I. That was lovely. Forty-four. Ah, oh, whatever. I figured I had him beat. Accidentally tried like grabbing. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. One hundred and three. Hot blooded. Got a fever and all that. <laughs> Eighty Juan. That is awesome. I wonder why it is that some of them have 65 HP and some of them only have uh, 37. I wish she could have just redistributed that attack. Oh, I'm almost out of mana. Is that where I need to go? Or what's up here? I think that's just a healing fountain. Which I don't think I'll be in need of if this just heals me right here. Oh, splashy, splashy. Um, I do not get healed before fighting splashy. Well, that's a bit of a disappointment. So... If we ignore the bottom half of its mouth, like if you just look at its head up here, it looks kind of like the blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> After that, it gets this very kind of alien esque. That tongue is. Actually, that tongue reminds me of a. If you've ever played Killing Floor, specifically the second one, I don't remember if um, this was a thing in the first game, but the patriarch, you know, good old Kevin Clamley. <laughs> 110. 
uh, he has this move where he shoots this like tendril out from his stomach. It's like a little hand that grabs you and pulls you in. That's what that thing's tongue reminds me of. Oh no. Mega Berserker Rage. You stuck there, Splashy? Oh no, Splashy, why? Surprise. Got him. Alright. Splashy, the pure, the pure pool's guardian lies defeated at your feet, and you can feel your toes squishing inside your socks. We've gotten the water sample from the purest part of the pure pool. Now Warlick can change the river of fire back to water. That is lovely. What was that thing I got in my temp items? Oh, pure pool piercer? It looks pretty cool. I might keep I might keep a hold of that since I can equip it and you know an elemental advantage. Actually, that will be lovely for this fight coming up. Since the next quest, in case you weren't reading well, I was selecting them was Zan's Fortress. Why was it that oh wait, that's a sword. I don't know why, but the uh picture gave me the impression that I had, I wasn't paying attention to the icon that clearly tells you if it's a dagger or a sword or whatever it may be. I wasn't paying attention to the icon, I just kind of looked at the picture and it seemed to be tiny when I was looking at it. I have great news, you did it. The pure elemental water worked. We started a reaction that will change the river back to of fire back to water. Limcrest is safe. For a while. For a while, okay. Limcrest is still in danger. It will always be in danger as long as Zan is in, in possession of the Pyronomicon. <laughs> I don't think that'll ever not be funny now. We have to try and sneak into Zan's volcanic fortress and take the Pyronomicon any way we can. Oh hey, Warlick is coming with us. And he replaced Valencia. Oh well. This makes sense. We must be very careful. Warlick has wanted me dead for years, and I'm sure that he doesn't like you very much either. After everything that you've done to stop him, so what's your plan? My plan? This sneak into Zan's volcanic fortress and take the Pyronomicon plan was your idea. <laughs> right, but I mean after that. Zan won't just say, oh, you want the book that increases my power? A thousand times? Sure, here we go. Have a nice walk back. <laughs> I mean, how do we get out? How about we fight our way back out? That's really not much better than my plan. Hey, dude, you you can't expect me to bring something to the table right now when this was your idea to begin with. Let's just concentrate on getting the Pyronomicon and not getting killed in the process. We'll worry about escaping if we get that far. That's reasonable. Lead the way. <laughs> You know, for Warlick being one of, like, the wisest characters in the game, <laughs> he can be a bit of a troll sometimes. <laughs> hey, did you- how did you beat me here? Magic. <laughs> There's a gag later in one of the quests where that answer is just lovely, let me tell you. There are no guards here, and not a single monster on the path leading to the door. There was a one- it was one- this is kind of odd. Do you think we've just walked into a thunk? Just don't look down. Trap. Sigh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, thud. Sometime later, deep within Zan's volcanic fortress. So, we're walking up to his fortress that's inside of the volcano sets up a trap door. You'd imagine that it would just be a pool of- Ow, God. That looks like it hurt. What does that look like if I have like a regular rogue weapon on me? 